Hello folks, um, today I'm just going to review this Vantrue dash cam. It says your ultimate driving partner, a car dash cam. Um, it is on dash N2 Pro, that's the model I'm going to review today. Um, it is kind of installed right behind your uh, rear cam. Um, I bought this on a sale during Black Friday, got this for about one twenty dollars i think i just recently checked after all the discount and the sale period is over i think now it costs around, costs around 199 i think i saved about 70 bucks um when i bought this on a discount so i already opened this box uh, out of curiosity as soon as i received uh, before i started making this video so i just put everything back as it came so everything should just um look uh, brand new so as soon as you open you have this uh, car sticker that you can use to you know say your car is protected i don't know what um, what good it makes uh, if you like it you can just add this into your car and as usual it comes with the quick start guide and this is what i mostly use i think uh, most of us use this quick start guide and and rarely anyone goes through this long, I think it's about 30 pages in English and also has another language and ends up in Japanese. Keep this handy so it might uh, be useful at some point. But uh, so this is all I'm going to use. And uh, yeah, as soon as you reach out um, after, you know, removing all the user guides, it asked me to charge it. Um, but I don't have, I haven't charged it yet. Um, let's see if I can just charge it while I make this video. Um, let's see what other accessories that it comes with. Um, so very usual USB charging cable. And the next thing is, okay. So the next thing is the, uh, the dashboard mount. It also has the charging cable in here. You don't have to charge uh, directly on your camera. Yes. So this becomes handy when you directly charge this from your computer or from your uh, uh, wall outlet using a USB port. Okay, this is pretty much standard. And I think this is, uh, this is how it just locks it in. And uh, we go there and then remove this cable and then, you know, mount it on the dashboard. So that's pretty much pretty standard how you would mount a camera. And let's see. Uh, so and yeah, this is pretty much uh, this is what you expect. Um, so you have a car battery charging um, or maybe a power cable that uh, if you don't have a USB cable, USB port in your car, you can use this uh, um, car uh, charging unit that's pretty much it um so i'm just going to uh, put this on my usb then uh, try to connect this onto the power okay that turns it on right away so this is asking me to insert uh, an sd card it's going to be your main front view and then that is you'll have a view from uh, from the inside of your car okay that's uh that's pretty much it um, promised and it has it not come with a usb uh, uh, i mean micro sd card um but i have one in one handy so i might use that uh but if you want to have one you need to buy one um okay so there it goes uh says uh, that's what you can do when you, when you mount it so these these buttons become handy to you so it's become accessible clearly easily so that is M uh, I think that is menu and this is the power you can just uh, I think press and hold and uh, it turns off let me just turn that back on I think the quality is not bad though it's uh, the screen itself is really small but on the cover it actually says it's 1.5 inch LCD screen. It records 30 frames per second. And it's a 1080p front and back. Uh, has a 140 degree wide back lens. It says emergency protect parking monitor. 
um, maybe the emergency protection is if you are in the crash it uh, it uh, turns off the override permission of that particular i press this menu m button uh, down here if you access like right and left uh, so system setup and gps setup let's see what it does i press m again it's asking for uh, insert sd card uh, let me put my uh, sd card in there and see what kind of options that it shows up after i put the card in okay let me just turn it off so this is have your front camera and this is your bag you can adjust uh, which part of your car you want to uh, focus on right above the power cable uh, port so just you know use your nails uh, to open this up and then this is where you put your sd okay with that uh, let me turn on press and hold so the battery is low so it's not connected to the power let me put that back in so yeah that's good start recording automatically you use this to go to the menu and then left right but if you want to select something just go uh, okay let's see what uh, record setups we have so we can choose the resolution in here 1080p with 30 frames per second so to just you know lock and uh, move your angle of uh, the camera view i think this is interesting um i need to just download one of the videos and see how the quality looks like otherwise i'm impressed with uh, i always have wanted to have one um, a dash cam and never had one but this time i got it for 120 just wanted to give it a try and see if uh, if this is really helpful i think um since the original price is 199 dollars that i see right now on amazon um i think it's, it's a good buy and i can record not only just for the crash or uh, you can also record the scenery when you drive through and you want to just record any you know uh, city view when you just go through that steady view of your driving um, overall it's a very nicely built uh, dash cam um, with uh, front and rear view i think overall it looks really good i would recommend just by looking at it and the, uh, and the feel of it uh, it's on dash n2 pro from van true thanks for watching guys